Hello all, good morning. I hope all of you are doing well. This is our 12th video on chapter 3, what fun it is to draw. In our last class, we have done the first four activities of this chapter. First activity was to get to know the color paint window. Uh, we have opened the color paint software that is go to applications then graphics then select color paint window in that we have seen a white space uh, which is known as canvas where we can draw the pictures then in left side we have seen a toolbox which contains different types of tools which help us to draw pictures and at the bottom we have seen a color palette that contains different colors which helps to color the pictures then our second activity was to draw mountains and hills for that we have used the curve tool then third activity was to draw a sun using circle tool then fourth activity was to draw a river by using the brush tool then we have also studied the use of undo and uh, redo button then the use of eraser today we are going to do the last four activities of this chapter that is Fifth activity to draw a house. Sixth activity to draw a fence around the house. Seventh activity to draw a boat in the river. And the last activity to add colors to the picture to make it more attractive. Okay, now let's start with our fifth activity that is to draw a house. For that we can use this polygon tool. Select this tool. Now we are going to draw a house. For that click and drag the mouse now we got a line then from this corner of this line again click and drag the mouse then release the mouse now we got another line then from this point click and drag the mouse up to here then release the mouse then from this point again click the mouse and drag it then come to this point then release the mouse again click this point drag the mouse come to this point and release the mouse so in this manner we have to click at the corners and drag the mouse to get the desired shape so we will complete this uh, picture of the house so after drawing the picture using polygon tool we have to click at the right button of the mouse to complete it Okay, now uh, we have completed drawing the uh, picture of the house. Now we can use this rectangle tool to draw the door. So we will draw a door here using this rectangle tool. Okay, now we have completed our fifth activity that is to draw a house. Our next activity is to draw a fence around the house. For this we can use the line tool. Select this tool then we can select the required thickness from here then we can draw straight lines and lines across that straight lines to create a fence around this house now uh, to get a straight line we can press the shift key on the keyboard and use the line tool so i'm going to draw a fence around this house
okay in this manner we have to complete the fence around the house Okay, now we have completed drawing the fence around the house. That was our sixth activity. Next activity is to draw a boat in the river. For that we can use the brush tool. So select this brush tool. Then we can select the required thickness from here. Then now we can draw a boat here in the river. Okay, now we have drawn a boat in the river that was our seventh activity our last activity for this chapter is to add colors to make this picture more attractive in order to paint the picture or to give color we have two tools first one is this flood fill tool and the second one is this spray can tool so first we'll use this flood fill tool now we can select the required color from this color palette First, I'll select this orange color to color this sun. So click inside the sun. Now we have given color to the sun. In this manner, we can select the required colors from this color palette and click wherever we want to apply that color. Now we'll complete this picture. Okay, now we have completed uh, painting this picture. Now we can use this spray can to complete the coloring activity. Select this spray can, then select the required color. Now we can use the spray can to complete the coloring of this mountains. Okay, now we have completed the last activity that is coloring the picture. Next we have a color eraser. This tool is the color eraser. It is used to erase or remove any particular color we want. Select this color eraser tool. Now suppose we want to erase this green color. So we have to set the color to be removed or the color to be erased as the foreground color. So we have to select this green color as the foreground color. So I am now selecting the green color as the foreground color. Now we can use this color eraser to erase this color. For that we have to click and drag the mouse. See that particular color is erased. So this tool is color eraser. It is used to discard or remove or erase any particular color we want. For that we have to set that color to be removed or avoided as the foreground color. Then we have to use this era color eraser tool. We have to click and drag the mouse on that area. Then that particular color will be erased. 
பட் இஃப் வி யூஸ் தி கலர் இரேசர் ஆன் எனி அதர் கலர் தட் கலர் வில் நாட் கெட் இரேஸ்ட் so that was our last activity so we have completed all the activities in this chapter so in today's class we have done the last four activities of this chapter a fifth activity was to draw a house for that we have used the polygon tool uh, by using this polygon tool we have to click at the corners where we want um, where we have to get the desired shape then after completing the picture using the polygon tool we have to click at the right button of the mouse to fix it or to complete it then uh, we have also used the uh, rectangle tool to draw the door of the house then our sixth activity was to draw a fence around the house for that we have used the line tool to draw straight lines and lines across that straight lines to create the fence then uh, while using this line tool we may not get straight lines to get the straight lines we have to press the shift key on the keyboard and then use the line tool then our seventh activity was to draw a boat in the river for that we have used the brush tool then last activity uh, on in this chapter was to add colors to make the pictures attractive we have studied about two tools uh, to color the picture first one was flood fill tool and the second one was spray can tool then we have also learned about color eraser which is a tool used to erase or uh, remove or discard any particular color we want so we have to set that color as the foreground color then we have to use the color eraser tool by clicking and dragging the mouse we can erase that particular color so i hope all the activities in this chapter are clear to you so we have completed our third chapter next class we will start our fourth chapter so see you next class thank you